Hey guys, welcome back to Lexington Podiatry. I'm Dr. Carter, and we've got some toenails for you today. Now, in the grand scheme of things, these are some of the best ones we see. Not super gross, not super thick, just run of the mill, just a little bit on the thick side, a little bit long, but we're gonna make her feel so much better. So let's get started. All right, she also has a little callus over here that we'll try to trim. As you can see, some of her toes bend under, and that makes a thicker toenail a little bit more prominent, a little bit more of an issue um, because it starts to buckle underneath the pressure of her toe curving. Um, these are the ones I like to trim. They're long, longer. You know that you're doing something and I pop them everywhere. So if I yell duck, don't freak out. So this is one of the most difficult ones to trim because you really have to get up under it and make sure we don't cut the skin. And if you can imagine from her standpoint, trying to get up under this nail from the other side would be really difficult. Um, the older we get, we get arthritis in our knees, in our hips, in our hands, and we just can't get into a position to be able to trim nails like that very easily. She is diabetic, which is why we're even looking at her feet. Um, and it would be really unusual for a diabetic to trim that nail and not cut themselves. So that's what we're trying to avoid. This is a great way to start out a Monday morning. This one is curving a little bit. And I know you hear, cut your nail straight across. That is true, unless they're curving. If they're curving, I like to trim it out a bit because her foot's gonna swell or someone's gonna step on her and all of a sudden that sharp edge is going to dig right into her skin and cause an infection and then she has to come back here. I think that one just went down my shirt. All right, there's that. Come on over, Court, let's do the other side and then we'll smooth them out. See, super quick. It does hurt my little heart Sorry, honey. It hurts my little heart to not um, cover these. And I try not to torture. Sometimes it happens, as you see. All right. Our goal here is to trim them short enough, not into the quick, but obviously shorter than if you were to go get a pedicure because their goal is to make them nice and pretty. Our goal is to fix them from becoming a problem. And it also has to last nine weeks. Um, guidelines for insurance companies say that if you qualify, you can only have them trimmed every nine weeks. Well, for some people, that's too long. And for some people, it's not long enough. So I try to make sure that I trim them short enough that in nine weeks, she's not in here complaining that they're digging in or that they're infected. Okay. We're almost finished. As you can see, I move around a lot. One thing I was taught in school was you have to position yourself in the most comfortable so you don't end up getting hurt. Perfect. All right, let's buff these down a little bit. Obviously not gonna take much. Just wanna smooth the edges some. So that way when she puts her socks on, does that tickle? <laughs> Sorry. <Yeah. laughs> when she puts her socks on, they don't get snagged or they don't cause holes in her bed sheets. Okay, let's do the other one. Let me see over here. I try to squeeze the toe, which does cut down on some of the vibrations. <laughs> but sometimes you can't help it. Nope, it just jerks. All right, there's that part. Let's trim this little callus here. It's not terrible. I'm not concerned about this one becoming an open sore or anything. But if left untreated, over time it can build up. So. This is one that looks a lot thicker than it actually is. So it's really important to just take little bitty pieces or 
thin layers so we don't cut her and make her bleed. And then I'll buff that down just to watch her jump again. <laughs> I'm teasing. Just to smooth those edges just a bit. Perfect. All right, let's get her cleaned up. A little bit of alcohol or water. Let's do water. It's about 20 degrees outside this morning, so that should make her <laughs> feel really good. All right. And then we'll rub some lotion on her and she will be good to go. The best part is getting some lotion. After all of the torture, I do try to make it up to you. Just a bit. Does it have fragrance in it? Um, probably. I, I don't do fragrance. So I can't. Sorry, uh, sorry about that. I wasn't. No, 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 no. It's okay. We will wash the lotion back off. Okay. Because. <laughs> should have asked that. I meant to bring my own and I forgot. Yeah, that's perfectly fine. Um, perfectly fine. And good news is, with the thicker layers of skin on the foot, it doesn't absorb as easy. Mm -hmm. So, you shouldn't have any issues. All right, my dear. There you have it, guys. Another routine nail trim at LexPod. Make sure you watch our channel, like, and subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Have a good day.